Hello everyone, I'm Sharpedo43 once again, bringing you all another Wi-Fi battle. This is going to be a UU battle. My opponent is going to be someone named Chris Sama in Discord. Um, I'm going to be using this team here. It's actually a very, very new team. It's another team that has Sylveon in it, so I figured, yeah, let's why not use it? It's, uh, it's a lot different. It's not going to be a team with Mega Pidgeot this time. It's actually going to be a team with um, Mega Aerodactyl instead. So I figured, yeah, and it also has Duble, which is also a Pokemon that I don't think I've ever used. I think I remember drafting it in the Talent Squad League, but I actually never used it because it was just never useful, unfortunately. So yeah, I never ended up using Dublade. I tried to use it in, in the Talent Squad League, but I just, like I said, I just couldn't. So here's a team that actually has Dublade, and I want to see if I, can actually, eh, if I can actually make it work and whatnot. Or if I can actually do something interesting with it, at the very least. But um, yeah, so this is going to be the battle once again. My opponent, once again, is Chris Sama from Discord. I was looking for a Yu-Yu battle, and he was looking for one as well, so we decided to battle. And uh, here we go. He's going to lead off with Quinn, which is the Latias, and I'm going to lead off with Aerodactyl, which is the Mega. I think here I decide to switch out, I think. Yeah, I, I think I decide to switch out. Oh, no. he's um, He switches out himself and going to Hippodon. Um... Why? I don't know. But I just Mega Evolve and I think... I don't know if I actually predicted this, but I think I just go for the Aqua Tail, I think. No, I go for Stone Edge, never mind. So I don't predict anything. I go for Stone Edge because um, I thought he would stay in and I just wanted to get damage on the Latias. Oh, and I, I didn't think uh, Draco Meter would be enough to KO my um, Aerodactyl, just from previous experiences that I've had. So, um, yeah, he goes for Fire Fang, I guess expecting me to stay in or something, or something, but I, then I go for the Aqua Tail, which was what I was trying to say. <laughs> I, I knew that I went for Aqua Tail somewhere in this battle, and it was right there. I just stayed in and went for, um, what's it called? Because I was anticipating to go want to go for the Rocks instead, and as you can see, he did get them up. So, now I go for another Aqua Tail. He actually hard switches into Scizor, which is, yeah, scary, because that thing can bullet punch me. So here I hard switch into Dublade because I was thinking if this is a bulky set it probably is not going to carry knockoff and he does go for Roost so that definitely gave me the impression that it's definitely not a knockoff um, set. He has Swords Dance and Roost so this made me think that it probably only has U-Turn and Bullet Punch. So I was thinking okay let's go for Swords Dance then and he does go for, I go for Swords Dance he went for Swords Dance. I just went for it I did not know if it had Swords Dance or not but I just decided to go for it because I didn't think it would be um, defensive and it seems to be. But he actually did carry knockoff, unfortunately, so I was like, ugh. So I just go for um, Shadow Cloud to get damage, and thankfully I get a crit. I, it, if it was a bulky Scizor, that crit might have mattered, actually. But I was actually just glad I got it, in all honesty. So, yeah. I do take out the Scizor now as a result. But the the downside is that not only do I lose my Eevee Light on this, um, on this Dublip, but now I also kind of just get wrecked by everything else. And I'm weakened, so, like I said, anything can wreck me at this point. I decided to hard switch into Swampert here. I think here he went for uh, Fire Fang, I think. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, I take it well. He goes into 1-Up, which is this Breloom. I go for Stealth Rocks. In retrospect, I probably should have gone for the, for the Skull, and you're going to see why. Because he switches in this Breloom. I get my Rocks up, and turns out this Breloom was actually a Toxic Orbing one, like a heal, uh, Poison Healing one. Which is annoying because now I can't burn this thing, which means I can't have its attack, which means now it can just literally do what it wants. It goes for Spore, so thankfully no Bullet Seed. Um, I stayed in because, yeah, I was kind of like on tilt when I realized that that thing was actually Toxic Orbed. So um, here I'm just going to go for... I think I try to burn... Oh no, I hard switch into um, Dublade again, and he actually, I think, predicts me to switch out and goes into Empoleon. And, um, yeah, this is annoying because now I'm forced to switch out again because I do not want to lose Dublade. And, um, here I try to go into Heracross just to get some damage. This was risky because if he went for Scald, I would have been in trouble. I I only had a hunch that maybe, just maybe, he'll want to go for Defile because I got my rocks up and why else would he want to send an Empoleon of all things. But he does go for the Defog and I do get the I do get a free switch in the Heracross. Now, I do go for Knockoff right here and I already got the, um... Flame Orbot, so I was thinking that maybe this knockoff would be enough to take out the Elias. Unfortunately, it is not because this Latias actually has a Z move, so I was like, ugh. So I'm forced to switch out and go, and I go into Sylveon. I think here he goes for uh, Recover. Yeah, he goes for Recover. 
and after this i try to go for just hype voices because i do not want this thing to be setting up any calm mines like you see right here he goes for calm mine i did not know if it carried calm mine or not but I, I just went for hyper voice on the off chance he did and it did went for hyper voice or calm mine so i decided to go for hyper voice to see how much i can do to this Latias. It's still enough so that at least now I can stop it from just calm mining in my face because if he goes for calm mine right now I just take it out with hyper voice. Him knowing this is going to try to go for a recover and see how much damage um, I do now. And as you can see it puts him pretty much back at where it was. So uh, he's definitely not in the condition to be um, setting up any more calm mines. So what he's going to do now here is just activate his Psyche MZ. I think it's called Shattered Psyche. Yeah the Z move. So yeah he's going to go for a Shattered Psyche right here. And I was just hoping that this, after plus one, would not be enough to take out my Sylveon. My Sylveon is bulky this time around, as opposed to anything else in all honesty. So I was hoping that maybe I could take it. And I do take it surprisingly well, like more so than what I expected, honestly. Like I thought it would probably take me down to the red HP bar, but it actually does not. It actually leaves me still at orange. So I was thinking, oh, this is pretty good. Now, unfortunately here though, I do take out this Lydia, sure. But now he could just send in his own Aerodactyl. Um... With this Aerodactyl, um, I don't necessarily have a switch in for it. I mean, I do have Dual Blade, but I was afraid of Earthquake or um, Crunch being a possible move from this um, Aerodactyl, so I did not want to risk anything. So I just want for Protect, get some HP back, and also see what he wants to go for. If he goes for Home Close, I could be screwed. He ends up going for Fire Fang instead, which is... Okay, that's kind of interesting. Or actually, I don't think it was Fire Fang. It was actually Ice Fang. And um, here he goes for Stone Edge. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to live it, but it's an Aerodactyl. Of course, it's not going to live it. I got kind of like, gr like not greedy, I was just kind of trying my luck and see if I can actually live a Stone Edge, and if not, miss at least, but no, it, neither of those two happened. So here I tried sending in um, Dublade to see what other moves he has, and he does reveal the Fire Fang now, and so now I switch out Aerodactyl to see if he can now go for Stone Edge as I switch in this um, Swampert so that I can at least now burn a turn of sleep at least. I did burn one turn, so I just need to wake up this next turn and try to get at least my rocks back up. So that I can force his Empoleon to come in and try to defy again. I can get a free switch into something. But as you can see, um, I'm still asleep. So now I'm forced to switch out. He gets his free switch in the Breloom. And now I have to hard switch into um, Heracross. This unfortunately was a very, very bad misplay. And the reason why I went into Heracross straight up was because I was afraid he'd go for Bullet Seed. But he actually carried Facade. And I was like, ugh. I did not expect Facade in all honesty. I know I had the Poison Heal, Toxic Orb and all that. But I did not expect Facade in all honesty. And then here, because I realized that it was not a Technician. Breloom, I stayed in because I thought I could maybe take a Mac Punch. Since it's not going to be boosted by Technician. But it was enough to take out my Heracross. Which is bad because now I lost the one thing that could have taken out that Empoleon. Without having to worry about getting outsped and getting scalded at. So now I send in Dublade. Just to see if it carries uh, anything else that can maybe handle my... Um, Double, it seems like he can't because he just goes into Hippowdon and now I'm just forced to switch out because I do not want to lose the um, the Double yet. I feel like if it does, if the Breloom doesn't have um, Seed Bomb or or even freaking Bullet Seed, then I should be fine with Double. Like Double can ba basically counter it or something because it won't be able to touch it whatsoever other than just go for Spores if my um, Swampert happens to wake up. I'm still asleep though, annoyingly enough, so I have to freaking um switch out yet again here um as i switched in swampert on the hippodon as you can see it didn't wake up so i have to switch out yet again he gets this free switch in the breloom once again and i just switch back into dublate just to see if he has seed bomb or not um he tries to go for more facade so at this point i was kind of starting to be more convinced that he does not have any grass type move to hit my dublate with so um, I was thinking, okay, I just need to find a way to conserve this dual blade as much as I can. Unfortunately, I don't have any wish passing potential in Sylveon because I lost it. I just went for Shadow Claw on the off chance he tries to stay in and do something else, but he does not. So, um, here I just have to switch out because I do not want to get Earthquake by this hit out on. So, I'm just going to go back into this Swampert and just try to freaking wake up for once because I'm getting kind of annoyed at that I'm not waking up as soon as I should. And all honesty, it's been three turns already, not waking up whatsoever. So he does get his free rocks up, unfortunately, which is really, really annoying. And now he's just going to stay in and go for Earthquake because he doesn't think I'm going to wake up again. He gets a crit, which is... And it's only annoying in the sense that now it just kind of hurts the longevity of Swampert. So, yeah, I do get the roar off. And it sucks because, honestly, I wanted to go to, for the Skull. But I honestly thought he would just switch back into Breloom in all honesty. But he does not. And he here he's going to hard switch into um, Breloom, which I was kind of expecting. So I just decided to hard switch into... Um, 
um, Tentacruel, because what I wanted to do right now was just get the Rapid Spin off. If he went into Aerodactyl, I could have lost this Tentacruel in all honesty. So here, because I got the uh, the right matchup, I decided to go for um, Rapid Spin to at least get rid of the rocks that he set up. So here he goes for Swords Dance, and I was like, okay, I do not want this thing to get a, a Breloom Sweep, so I'm just gonna um, go for Haze right here, just to get rid of the plus two, because I do not want this thing to get plus two. Unfortunately, with this Tentacruel, I do not have freaking Sludge Wave or even Ice Beam. Instead, I actually have Toxic Spikes, which is not going to do anything to this Breloom because it's a Poison Heal one. So, yeah, I'm kind of in a pickle right here. I have to switch out and go straight back into um, Dual Blade because it's the only thing that can take a hit. So, here, I go for Shadow Snake because, I don't know. I honestly don't know why I went for Shadow Snake. But, unfortunately, here he goes for Spore. Well, I think that's why because I knew it was going to Spore and I wanted to at least get some chip on this thing. But I, in retrospect, I feel like this was maybe a bad idea, and I think I should have probably just tried to put the Swamper back to sleep because this Dublin, like I said, it was probably the one thing that could have answered this damn Breloom. And not to mention, if I predicted his switch into um, um, Aerodactyl here, I could have probably gotten the Gyro Ball off and taken that thing out. Instead of having to do what I do right here and just switch out, which causes him to reveal Pursuit, which I did not expect in all honesty. And now I'm forced to basically send out my own Aerodactyl and risk a speed tie. Thankfully, I actually win it yet again, the speed tie, and I actually am able to take out this Mega Aerodactyl with an Aqua Tail. But unfortunately, he still has the um, the King Dedede here, which is the Empoleon, which is still relatively healthy. I decided to go for the um, Earthquake here, just hoping that I can maybe take it out, but I don't think I can because it's at full HP, and Earthquake is not stabbed nor boosted by Tough Claw, so yeah, I'm just going to have to take a Skull to the face, which sucks. And um, here this puts me in range of a Mac Punch from Breloom, which really, really blows. But this is really all I can do. I try to go for another Earthquake here, I believe. But I think here's where he decides to go back into this Breloom. And unfortunately, this Aerodactyl does not have anything for this Breloom either, honestly. Like, it does not have Wing Attack or Aerial Ace or anything like that. It actually does has Aqua Tail, it has Stone Edge, and it has Earthquake. And it has Roost. But no freaking Wing Attack. So I essentially had nothing for this Breloom, unfortunately. This is when I realized that I had nothing for this Breloom, honestly. So, because of this, I have to actually now go into Dual Blade, or not Dual Blade, uh, Tentacruel, just to try to get some Scald Burns. Well, not Scald Burns. I just have to go Scald for damage, basically, because that's literally all I can do. So, here, I'm just going to go for, like I said, uh, Scald, just to see how much damage it does. He switches in Hippo on for some reason, so I was just like, okay, can I at least get the um, Burn? I do not get any Burn. So, um, what I'm going to do now is just try to get the... Um, burn once again well actually i was hoping that with another scald here i'd be able to take it out maybe but unfortunately this thing survives and i still don't get any burn which is really really annoying so now i'm just gonna lose tentacle right here but i definitely weaken this thing enough now so that i can actually just take it out with a um with swampert which or the um what's it called aerodactyl because my aerodactyl was still alive by the way so yeah here i said then oh well swampert actually no, never mind. The Aerodactyl actually went down to the Mac Punch from Breloom, so I don't know what the hell is I thinking there. So, yeah, here I'm going to go for Scald now. Take out the um, Hippodon, thankfully. He's now going to send in uh, the Breloom once again, and um, he's just basically going to take me out with a Facade after he goes for the Swords Dance, by the way. I don't know why he went for Swords Dance in all honesty. He already knows that I can't really do much to this thing, so he could just KO me with two Facades in all honesty. Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter what he does, honestly. He can definitely take me out with either or. Or maybe maybe he knows that I have the Yapabo Berry and then I want to proc it. That'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> That'd be one sick-ass read right there that he actually knew that. But um, yeah, so he's able to take me out, unfortunately. I literally had nothing for that Breloom in all honesty. The only things, ugh, the only things that could have taken care of that Breloom was Sylveon if it was healthy or um, Heracross if it was healthy. But unfortunately, because I switched in Heracross, I basically um, lost it the next turn to the Breloom itself because of the facade. And Sylveon was weakened because of the freaking um, the Psyche MZ from Ladia. So yeah, after losing Sylveon in Heracross, the battle was pretty much over, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, at least I didn't get blown the hell back though. But I did lose to the Breloom because I literally had nothing else left for it after losing Sylveon in Heracross. So yeah. But um, yeah, nonetheless, good game to Chris Sama. Thank you for the battle. It was a pretty good battle. And thank you all for watching this battle. So I'll catch you guys in the next battle. But for now, just uh, take it easy.